So it's long been known that billionaires try to buy elections. They used to buy people like horses. They used to run, you know, buy a, buy a, a horse, a horse and put the horse in the race and have the, the horse win the race. But now they've gone one step further where the billionaires are actually just saying, hey, fuck it, well, I'll do it myself, man. Why do I need a horse? I'll just run myself. Right? So Michael Bloomberg. Michael Bloomberg, the, the billionaire, $53 billion heir, former New York City mayor, three-time New York City mayor, shit sandwich, shit sandwich, Running as a centrist Democrat, let's have a look. So, oh, before we do that, 20, 2020 election is a significant source of stress for 53% of U.S. adults, new survey says. This is definitely going to be an election season to remember. For Democrats, four more years of Donald Trump in the White House is a scenario that is absolutely unimaginable, and they will be fighting like mad to keep that from happening. But of course, Trump supporters are equally determined to keep him in power. And many of them are not even going to consider the possibility that a Democrat could potentially win. Oh, man. So 56%. 36% of fucking people are pissed off politically, right? Fucking anxiety, man. Trump derangement syndrome, right? They fucking hate Trump. So... So Michael Bloomberg prepares to enter the race. Look at some of the video, uh, see who he is and all that stuff. So if you don't know who Michael Bloomberg is, he was a mayor in New York City three times, three times. He ran in like 01, 02 or some shit. Right after Giuliani, he became the mayor and then he became the mayor again. And then there's only uh, there was a two-term limit for how many terms you can run for mayor. And then he ran again for a third term. I don't know how the hell he figured that out. I, and he ran for a third term. So we had him around for 12 years in New York City. We know Bloomberg. Right? We know Bloomberg. Former New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg is preparing to enter the 2020 Democratic primary, primary, despite saying earlier this year he would not run for president, according to the New York Times. The billionaire environmentalist. <laughs> environmentalist. <laughs> Fucking zero hedge. Do your homework, man. He's no fucking environmentalist, man. The guy's a fucking, the guy's just a billionaire guy. He lives in. He's got his own mansion in in on Madison Avenue, seven stories high, two blocks wide. The guy's a rich, 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 you know, uh, hedge fund Wall Street guy, right? He, he sells. He does. He's not a hedge fund guy. He sells the information uh, portals to Wall Street, made billions of dollars doing it. It's also Bloomberg Television. He's not an environmentalist. Has been privately weighing a bit. What environmental? What, he goes to Central Park? Come on. Has been privately weighing a bid for the White House for weeks and has not yet made a final decision on whether to run. And the advisor said, <laughs> he's already made the decision. But in the first sign uh, that he is seriously moving towards a campaign, Bloomberg has dispatched staffers to Alabama to gather signatures to qualify for the primary there. Though Alabama does not hold an early primary, it has a Friday deadline for candidates to formally enter the race. So so what is what is a Bloomberg what is a what would a let me let's uh let's continue. So Michael Rubens Bloomberg, a Jew, uh, he ran by the way uh, in New York City as a Republican. Uh, he was a lifelong Democrat, and then he ran uh, in the Republican Party and won. Right? As the, it doesn't really matter in New York City. At the mayoral level, nobody cares if you're an R or a D. He won. And uh, he was a fairly good mayor. He, was very, he had a very um, uh, avant-garde, uh, you know, foofy billionaire. He's probably gay. We think he's gay. Nobody has ever seen him with a woman. He lives in... He he reclined he declined to live in Gracie Mansion, which is the mansion here in New York City for the mayor, uh, where uh, De Blasio lives right now. And instead, Bloomberg stayed in his mansion and lived in his mansion. But we think he's gay. Uh, catering in, informants that have told me that they've been in the house. It's usually rich gay men in the house. So just just a ta- you know uh, as a note, um, he's in. Uh, 53, what the hell is 53 
billion dollars look like? 53, can you imagine having 53 billion dollars? 53, add three zeros, that's 53,000. That's what, that's what less than, that's what 99% of the people in this country have, don't have. And then he has, add three more zeros, that's $53 million. 53 people can live for the rest of their lives comfortably on that money. And he has three more zeros, $53 billion. Look at all those zeros. That's how much this guy is worth. Uh, it's, it's staggering. It's a staggering amount of money. Uh, so for, for a guy like Bloomberg, it usually costs, I think, the Clintons burned about, uh, what did they burn, about $2 billion losing to Donald Trump. Trump rode the fake news media for maybe a billion in free advertising. This guy doesn't need a cent. He doesn't need a red nickel from anybody to run for president of the United States. Just bear in mind. What else? He, um, he's 77 years old. Uh, he's 77, right? So he'll take, if he would be elected, he'd be 78. So he's exactly the same age as Bernie Sanders. Huh? Right. So he's not going to take any steam away from Sanders or Warren. He goes right to the pocket of shit sandwich Joe Biden and, and the other phony, uh, Pete Buttigieg, or uh, Amy Klobuchar, all the corporatist, centrist, money-grabbing, in-the-middle Democrats. Harris, Cory Booker, those, those, we shouldn't even be mentioning their names. They're already falling. Right. But uh, that's who he'll take away from. He's not going to touch Sanders. So, here's, so he's done this before. Michael Bloomberg has done this before with all his billions of dollars. I think in 2016, they, rate, they ranked him as uh, 42 billion. Now he's got 53 billion. So again, it's a spit in the bucket, right? It's nothing for him to peel off $2 billion and run for president and not need a dime from anybody and be able to say all along, I'm funding my own campaign, just like Trump did, right? See, the, the billionaires now and the Democrats and Republicans, they're indistinguishable from each other, right? There is no party anymore. It's the billionaire party, right? That's what's going on. So here he is in 2016. Michael Bloomberg, the former two-term New York City mayor, all of a sudden he's saying publicly what has been rumored, I, I guess, for a while, that he's seriously thinking of running for president of the United States. Uh, if he ran as the third party independent, that would be a potentially huge deal. It would be a huge deal. I'm not sure we're there yet that he's sort of ready to launch a campaign, but he gave this interview to the FT. He clearly said he's watching the primary race on both sides very closely, what the candidates are saying, and he is distressed by the rhetoric. He, he just said it's distressingly banal is how he described it. And he said it's an outrage and an insult to voters in this interview in the FT. So this is somebody who's had his eyes on the White House for many years, has never pulled the trigger. He thinks maybe this might be an opportunity to sort of come up the middle as an independent and do so. But you know Michael Bloomberg, Wolf, he is a data-driven guy. Unless his team can put together an electoral map that gets him to 270 electoral votes as an independent this late in the game, I don't think he would take the chance. I've spoken with There's absolutely no way that he'll run as an independent because that's a frivolous that's a frivolous pursuit because the Democrats and the Republicans cheat. He's gonna try to enter as a Democrat this time. So that was 2016 when he made his NBC News has now confirmed that Michael Bloomberg is preparing to enter the Democratic president. This is today. Uh, yesterday. Potential candidacy confirmed that Michael Bloomberg is preparing to enter the Democratic presidential candidacy. The New York Times had reported earlier that he was expected to file paperwork in Alabama sometime this week. That state does have an early filing deadline, but the New York Times did caution that that still doesn't mean he is 100 percent certain that he will run. It just means that his campaign could potentially be increasing how serious it is about entering this field. Now, obviously, if he does enter, that could change the dynamic of this race. 
This race has been defined by the debates over the economy, over wealth, over the ways that businesses have amassed corporate power. Michael Bloomberg, of course, billionaire businessman, former mayor for New York. And again, NBC News now confirming that he is preparing to enter this race. Back to you. How stupid are people to vote for a guy, a billionaire, a guy with all this money? We're talking about income and wealth inequality. I know some people don't even believe it. They think that, again, people still believe that Trump is somehow – is somehow the guy that's going to drain the swamp and rid the rid the government of corruption and somehow somehow that money is just going to trickle down to everybody else that's the problem it's because they're all corrupt and the deep state is getting in the way and stealing all the money and the pedophiles and the, it's just how do people fall for it i don't i don't get it man why would you why would any democrat in their right mind uh actually vote for for a billionaire right how is that even possible i don't i don't get it so marcus conti reporting on the bloomberg scare the bloomberg bubble right vote for a billionaire that's what the democrats are going to do right and fucking you know bernie sanders is going to rock the house man right imagine imagine now the the stage a a slightly more articulate centrist democrat michael bloomberg on his own money, flooding, flooding the United States with, with ads. Vote Bloomberg, vote Bloomberg, vote Bloomberg, right? He's a 77-year-old Jew from New York, right? Uh, New York, hey, listen, America fell for a, a billionaire from New York once before, a fake billionaire, fake populist with a good line of shit once before. Will the Democrats fall for it again? I don't know about that. Oh, you know what? There is a piece of this. Back to you, Watch the rest of this. Elon, thank you. Elon Moy listen, in D.C. How does this change the race? If you are a... Listen to these, listen to these Wall Street uh, people talk about Bloomberg. It, it is interesting. I forgot. Moderate Democrat, uh, particularly one who works in this business that we are all associated with, I would imagine this is a very viable alternative to what is currently out on 100%. the market. 100%. I mean, if, if, uh, Karen did, did a little cheer before during the commercial break, and I understand why. I mean, I think he sees an opportunity given some of the polarization that's going around, given some of the... In Scott Wapner's interview he was probably watching, he said, you know... It's such a small click, right? They don't even, they don't even know it. They make their stupid little salaries, right? Probably nice salaries uh, for, you know, perpetrating fake news and then uh, Wall Street news and then, you know, and they all know Bloomberg, right? But the average people are not going to connect with a, uh, are not going to connect with an old Michael Bloomberg presidency, man. This shit is like, Democrats are just throwing it away, man. Just put, look, it's either Sanders or nobody, right? Bernie Sanders will speak to the, to the heartland of America, right to the, to the roots of America and show show Trump to be the phony that he is, that he's not for you, he's not for the people, he's not for, he's for himself, right? Delivered on nothing, right? And that's where, what is, what, what could Bloomberg possibly do to, uh, to, uh, you know, what, it's, it's just got to be a gaslighting campaign where he tries to convince America that, that uh, Sanders and Warren are wrong and are socialists, you might as well run as a Dem you might as well run as a Republican. Marcus Conte reporting.